John chapter two, verse five. It says, his mother saith unto the servants, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. The pretext and post text of this verse deals with the miracle of Jesus turning water into wine. The miracle of turning the mundane into something rare. The miracle of turning something cheap into something of great value. Let's unpack this a bit. So you have this couple that invited Jesus to their wedding. You know, I just think it's good to know that Jesus was not a social hermit. If you invited Jesus to a party or over to your house for dinner, Jesus would probably reply by saying, what time and can I bring anything? Right. And I think it's important to note that as Christians, as believers, we should never be so focused on religious activities that we don't have time to socialize with people who need Jesus. Like Jesus we can go to parties without compromising our convictions. That's not the point of this devotional thought, but I just felt the need to say that. Now, let me get on with it. <laughs> so they are at this wedding, which, by the way, in those days, Jewish weddings often lasted a week. So by this point, they had run out of wine. Jesus's mother informs him of their uh, host's embarrassing predicament of running out of wine. Jesus responds, woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Now, back in the day, I used to think, man, Jesus was all types of disrespectful. I mean, just calling his mom woman. But Jesus wasn't in his James Evans from good times mode. No, 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 no. In his culture, it was actually a courteous remark like calling a woman ma'am today. So by telling his mother that his hour had not yet come, Jesus is just saying he will not perform miracles just to please relatives and friends. Now, Mama Mary kind of disregarded what he had to say and just turned to the servants and said to them, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And I think this is what we also must do if Jesus is to transform our lives from the mundane into something special and rare. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. We know from reading that Jesus tells the servants to fill each of the jars up with water and the water turns into wine. Everyone was happy and they returned back to the dance floor as the band played the Jewish rendition of all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Jesus did not perform this miracle just to save a family from social embarrassment. Jesus always performs miracles to reveal his glory and to authenticate who he was and is. Now, if Jesus can transform 120 gallons of water into wine, he can certainly transform you and me. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. I want to encourage you today to walk in the newness of life today and whatever he tells you to do, do it. 